Oh man, I am so upset. I am so unbelievably disappointed. Yesterday, the NHL officially announced that Fanatics will be the company to take over from Adidas as the full-time NHL jersey manufacturer after the 2023-2024 season. This is the worst possible outcome. It shows we're truly living in the darkest timeline. Ever since it came out that Adidas wasn't going to be renewing their contract, I spent the entire time wishing, praying, hoping that Fanatics wasn't going to be the company to take over. It was literally the only one that I did not want. I would take Nike, New Era, CCM. I mean, CCM was actually the company that I really wanted, but any other company other than Fanatics. And of course, that is the one that we get. And not only is it just Fanatics taking over, they're going to be the jersey manufacturer for the next 10 years. 10, 10, 1, 0. I am... Uh, I'm just not very happy. I am not at all. I just truly hate Fanatics. I think they're an awful company that makes terrible, cheap-looking, overpriced products. Right now, the current replica jerseys or, you know, the Fanatics breakaway jerseys are the worst looking replica jerseys that I've ever seen. The logos on those things, that kind of one layer shiny looking logo was the worst looking logo that I've ever seen on a jersey. But you want to guess who beat it out? It was Mitchell and Ness with their replica throwback jerseys that were just released a few weeks ago. But guess what? Who owns Mitchell and Ness? You guessed it, Fanatics. Fanatics owns Mitchell and Ness, so that is two companies or at least two different versions of jerseys there that have just awful, terrible looking logos. And now the only positive that I will give to the Fanatics breakaway jerseys is that they are super soft. So I do have to give them that. But outside of that, I hate their jerseys. They are super overpriced. Right now they are at $150 Canadian on the NHL shop. In my opinion, they should be at, you know, maximum $100 Canadian. And I think that is super, super high. I don't really like paying more than $50 Canadian. I think that's like my high price point for those Fanatics jerseys. I don't like paying more than that. And I know some people are saying the Fanatics jerseys are just made for fans. They're not supposed to be super high quality or anything like that. But for me, I have a hard time excusing it as just a casual jersey and saying it's not that big of a deal. Because one, like I said, they're super overpriced. And two, we've seen older replica jerseys that are way better than the current Fanatics jerseys. I mean, just looking at like the Revive Premier, for example, not too long ago, those are much better quality than the Fanatics jerseys. The logo look way better even going back to CCM those were a lot better I would even say pro player and starter have better looking jerseys than the Fanatics ones and you know some people and I probably wouldn't say those starter and pro player jerseys are really that great they're very very old and are kind of shoddy in their quality they're not really that great but I would even say they're better than the current Fanatics jerseys because the Fanatics jerseys are just so terrible like especially with their logos but on top of that as well Fanatics has awful quality control I mean there's a dedicated Twitter account account called Fanatic Sucks. I'll leave a link to that Twitter account in the description if you want to go through it, but it just shows a whole bunch of pictures of people having quality control issues, like either misspelled names, having the nameplate falling off after either just getting the jersey or, you know, just getting it not too long ago, having completely wrong numbers on the back, all of that stuff. It is a full dedicated Twitter account just showing off all of that stuff. And I'm sure they missed some stuff as well. Like I would not be surprised. I just have a hard time being optimistic about this because Fanatics really hasn't consistently put out good quality products. I don't want to say they've never done so because this here is a Fanatics hat and I would say it is a good quality hat. You know, the logo on the front is all nice. It's fairly good, but they haven't done so consistently because recently with those reverse retro 2.0s, they put out a couple of hats. I'll pull up the Tampa Bay Lightning one that I want to specifically talk about on the screen here. Now, design-wise, I think it is super cool. However, it's all sublimated. Like, the logo itself is also sublimated. And also, like, I've been in a store with this type of hat. It wasn't the Tampa Bay Lightning one, but it was the Vegas one. And just the feel of the hat itself, kind of squishy. It just doesn't feel very sturdy, and it just feels extremely cheap. And they're, like, 40 bucks or something. Like, they're pretty expensive. So, just, once again, cheaply made, look very cheap as well, and just are super overpriced. Now, something that some people are saying is a positive thing and I mean it is a positive thing but Fanatics is still going to be using the exact same factory that's located in Quebec that Adidas used to make their NHL jerseys. However, it's not going to matter to like 99.9% .9 of people, myself included, because those jerseys are just going to be the made in Canada jerseys. They're not going to be the retail authentics that you find on like the NHL store or like the Adidas website. You know, you can't find them there 
because for whatever reason, Adidas made those NHL Made in Canada jerseys super difficult to get, and I really don't know why, and I'll probably go over this in a video, like I'll probably talk about Adidas' time in the NHL, looking at the positives and the negatives in another video. But yeah, for some reason, they made those Made in Canada Adidas jerseys super difficult to get. You have to buy them directly through the team store, and they either have to be team issued or game worn. You can't just get a retail Made in Canada jersey unlike you could with the other companies, like Reebok, for example. I absolutely love the Reebok Edge 1.0 jerseys. They are fantastic, super comfortable. Those Made in Canada jerseys are fantastic, and I would have loved if Adidas made the Made in Canada jerseys available to, like, everyone, and, like, easily available as well. You could get them in a size 46. You know, that's probably the lowest that I would say that they would let them go, but whatever. Like, I would have absolutely loved that, and unfortunately, they never did, so one way Fanatics could kind of win over some fans is if they make those readily available because I definitely would like that a lot. I would be a lot more happy and I would be a lot more kind of lenient on Fanatics if they did end up doing that. That is for sure. But I was never really concerned about the jerseys that the players wear. I think Fanatics is going to do good with those jerseys because if they don't, the players will get mad and that'll be a whole different thing. So I don't really think that is a concern. My concern is with those retail authentic jerseys. So the Adidas jerseys currently, those made in Indonesia jerseys, those are the ones that I'm concerned about because I don't know how good they're actually going to be. Obviously, they're still going to keep their breakaway jerseys and these are going to be an upgrade on those, but I don't think it's going to be a huge upgrade to be honest. And if it's a lateral movement with these Adidas Prime Green jerseys to the Fanatics jerseys, if that is a lateral movement, then I'll be happy, but I don't see that happening. I do think it'll be a pretty big downgrade. At least that's the way that I see it. I really hope it's not, of course, but I don't really see a world where Fanatex makes these good of quality of logos, at least. And that is my huge worry, is the logo specifically. The materials, I think they'll probably do fine with. But the logo specifically, once again, we're coming right back around to it. I just... I don't see them making good logos. I really don't. And the logo on the front is the reason why I love hockey jerseys so much because with the other sports, most of the time, not all of the time, but majority of the time, it's basically just a word mark and then a player's number on the front. And I really don't like that. I find the logo brings so much more personality. And with Adidas, they made these logos so much nicer. The prime green logos are the best looking logos that I've ever seen on a jersey. And they're just amazing. So I have a very hard time thinking that Fanatics will follow that up and, like I said, make a lateral movement. I just don't really see it. I think it's going to be a pretty big downgrade on these prime green jerseys, and that is really what I'm afraid of. And it's not like I'm the only person who is concerned about this either. Nick from Windy City Hockey, he runs a Blackhawks channel. I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys want to check him out. But he was talking about the Blackhawks logo and how it has chain stitching and has had that chain stitching for a very long time. But currently, the Fanatics jersey obviously does not have that chain stitching. So when Fanatics officially takes over and makes those retail authentic jerseys, will it have the chain stitching? I don't know. And honestly, it would not surprise me if they don't have the chain stitching. It wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. It also wouldn't surprise me if they start putting ads on all of the retail jerseys as well. Some team stores right now, they do make it so you have to buy the jerseys with the ads. Vegas, for example, they don't allow you to buy the jersey without one. I think some team stores are a little bit more lenient, but if you're buying it directly from the NHL store or the NHL shop, you're not getting an ad on those jerseys. And that's the way that I like it. I know some people want the ads on their jerseys because they want it to be as close to on ice as possible. Usually I am like that, but in this ad situation, I don't want ads on my jerseys at all. So I would be very upset if that's the way the Fanatics goes, but it wouldn't shock me if they made that decision. Now, I know I'm being super negative here in a video where we haven't even seen the product yet. However, I just have a really hard time being optimistic about this, being hopeful about this because of Fanatics track record. If you take a look at it, it just doesn't seem very good to me. I have a hard time thinking that they're going to completely turn the ship around, start making good quality jerseys, you know, turn around that quality control and have at least decent quality control. I just don't really see it happening, but I hope. I pray that I am wrong about this. I would love to look back on this video in like a year and a half or whenever we're actually going to get those jerseys. I would love to look back and be like, you're so stupid. What were you thinking? You didn't even see the jersey yet. Why were you complaining? It's not a big deal. Like, they worked out fine. It's a good looking jersey or it's a fine looking jersey. It's not that big of a deal. I hope that's the case. I would love that. But I just, I just don't. I have a hard time believing that they will make those good jerseys. And it's unfortunate. I really do want to be positive here, but... I just can't and it sucks and 
It also, I'm a little bit afraid to be honest because I don't know if I still will be collecting jerseys when Fanax takes over. It might definitely hurt. I mean, I'm still be collecting those older jerseys. That is for sure. It's not going to affect my collecting of the older jerseys, but it might stop me or at least, you know, slow me down on collecting those new jerseys. I, you know, we'll have to see, like I said, we'll have to wait and see and see how that product actually looks. But I might stop collecting jerseys. It's definitely a possibility, and it's unfortunate because, you know, I'm a huge jersey collector. I have over 200 jerseys. I love jerseys, but it definitely could hurt that love at least just a little bit and make it so I won't collect those new jerseys. But we will have to wait and see. This is a very doom and gloom video, and I apologize for that, but I want to know what your guys' takes are in the comments down below. Are you a little bit more of an optimist? Are you a little bit more positive on this? If you are, I would love to read your comments because at least it would give me a little bit more light and maybe make me a little bit more hopeful for the future here. But if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe as well. Also, make sure to follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok. Links are all in the description down below. But like I said, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.